I'm going to tell you, do you, know, do you know what the stupidest thing that mankind has ever done? Does anybody know what the silliest thing which the human race has ever tried to do? Do you know what it is? It's the height of insanity to try and put eternal life to death. And the world is still the same. They think we can put Jesus in the grave. But what are we coming up to soon? Easter, where Jesus beat the grave, he conquered death. Let me ask you this. Do you have an answer to your grave? Do you know that when you die, where will you go? What, will you hang around for the answer? You ask the question, will you hang around for it? Do you really want to know? Okay, why does God allow people to suffer? I've got a question for you, okay? Right, so this lady, thank you for your question, asked, why does God allow suffering? So, what time is it now? Does anyone know the time for the exact minute? Okay, 12.42, okay? So, if at 12.43 God wipes out everything which causes pain, where does that leave you and where does that leave me? We thank God for the good things. Do we criticise God for the bad things? If God is responsible for the good things, is he not responsible for the bad things? But one day, God, and what I asked you, madam, was, well, God's one going day, to... Not Exactly, but one day God's going to wipe out. Have you done wrong though before, man? Yeah, but God, yeah, but God has to be thorough. He can't just leave it at the pedophile level. He's got to do it at the lion level. He's got to do it at the stealing level. What's the answer? What does God do with that child being tortured? Because one day, it's sheer patience. Every single one of us here now, every, every single, madam, madam, every single one of us now has caused pain. And one day, God is going to come back and he's going to wipe out all the pain, everyone who's caused pain and suffering, so and he's going to deal with you. Tortured, so I say to the people suffer, don't worry, you'll pay God willing to Madam, 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 is it is God the one who's done that or is that the man? No, it's okay, it's the man that we thank God for good things that happen. Thank that person that all that's good things. I hope God does not But listen to this. What about Jimmy Savile then? If there is no God, Jimmy Savile went his whole life hurting children and then he's got away with it if there is no God. But I believe in a God who judges, and one day, that, well now, Jimmy Savile is being tortured in hell for all of eternity. Yeah, and it's, well, what answer does the atheist have? If there is no God, what answer? Jimmy Savile got away with it. What answer does he have? The answer is that God is now torturing Jimmy Savile, not for 10 years, not for 100 years, but for all of eternity. <laughs> yeah, and madam, these are hard questions that you have. But God said, God said, vengeance is mine. What's your answer? To madam, madam, okay, if there is no God. Okay, so what's your So you've got lots of people listening now. There's a big crowd of people. Madam, will you give us the answer then? If there is no God. When did I say God was good? I do believe he's good, but when did I say that? I'm standing here. I said, madam, my exact question, madam. They have. So God, God is, I'm not perfect, I'm a sinner, I'm a dreadful person, you know, and it's only the grace of God.